Although high-quality educational games and simulations are engaging and effective learning tools, there are reasons why we're not all using them constantly. Like any tool, learning games have drawbacks as well as advantages. These deficiencies make them impractical as a primary means of delivering instruction. A simulation, by definition, represents a specific concept. Every simulation must be created by a skilled software developer. If we scale this up to the level of an entire curriculum, it becomes prohibitively expensive. Not all concepts lend themselves to learning by simulation. Manipulatives are great for teaching arithmetic, but not so much for algebra or trigonometry. It is unlikely you will ever see a game that teaches calculus. To make matters worse, most of the so-called educational games available are really not educational at all. There is a qualitative difference between learning a new concept and recalling information from memory. Unfortunately, most people who are not professional educators are unaware of this distinction often including the designers of games meant to be educational. Most educational games are really glorified flashcards. The game involves drilling memory, not learning new concepts. This is especially the case with math games. Typically, these consist of displaying an equation with a blank for one of the terms. The player then performs an action, for example, popping a balloon, to select the number that fits in the blank. This only works if the player already has a grasp of numeracy or has memorized the facts represented in the game. A student who has not understood the concept beforehand will not learn it by guessing at the right answers, as it provides no explanation of the concept and gives no feedback beyond correct or incorrect. Likewise, literacy games that involve selecting the correct word are no better than multiple choice worksheets with the added distraction of the irrelevant animation and sound. Educators know that good teaching goes way beyond delivering information for students to memorize. Building a truly educational game is like planning a high quality lesson. This is not as easy as it sounds. It requires a specialized set of skills acquired through training and experience. An educational game developer needs to be an expert teacher and software programmer. Games that actually teach concepts are few. The really good ones are far between.